I hope so. Hi! Mark's like out of a shot. People see when you walk that way. Okay, yeah, I know. and action. Okay. Billy, it's good to see you again. Nice to see you. Means I'm working. Yeah, you're working, <laughs> right. Um, wonderful film. Thank I you. To start off by congratulating you. A film that all adults, young adults, all ages can, I think, relate to. I think so, too. I love this movie. Yeah. You're raised in Long, Long Island, New York. On Wrong Island? Ah uh, well, raised on Long Island. No, know. he was raised I on just, Wrong Island. I just had Greek for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I was raised on the Wrong Island. You're right. It was supposed to be Ibiza. <laughs> but this one must have been a little bit like going home. Oh, it was more than going home. It was going home. It was uh, all my old neighborhoods when I lived in Manhattan. Uh, what a great joy to see autumn. I haven't seen an autumn in a long time. I've been in L.A. for 13 years. You know, uh, it's a very romantic time in New York autumn, and I think that. The New York City actually becomes another character in this movie. I mean, it's uh, it's a wonderful looking city. I wish I to say starring New York City and Billy Crystal. Uh, starring New York City as itself. As itself, you know? yeah. You did something for me that I enjoyed personally. If Paying I for the tickets, this. I know. No, I you did know, my graduate oh. work at the University of Chicago. Did you really? Yeah, and it was nice to see the old uh, campus for just a brief. Uh, now, did you kiss women on the street like I got to do in that movie? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Chicago, uh, you know, I made Running Scare there, so I know it well. And and uh, it's just the beginning part. They travel from Chicago to New York and then start their lives, you know. Yeah, I was going to comment that the film actually took you back to the location of Running Scare, too. Yeah, yeah, all too briefly, though. Yeah. Coming out of the theater with critics from all over the country, what, what do they know? But I heard things like, uh, uh, best movie of the year. My, my first reaction was, I want to go back and see it again, because I missed so many lines. These because they were laughing. Yeah. People saying, boy, this is a super movie. I, I, you know, so nice to go on a junket and you really enjoy this movie. Why do you think people are, that have seen this film are enjoying it so much? Because I think it's a great movie. I think it has a lot to say about people. I think it touches people. It's very funny. Number one, I think it's real romantic without being overly done. I think it's, it's sexy in a way, in a lot of ways. I think that it's also so real. I think men will look at this movie and go, ooh, that's yeah. me. And yeah. women will go, hmm, that's you. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and I think it's provocative, and I think it'll make people talk for years. I told Bruno Kirby, I had a Jess. A friend, you know, I kept calling all the time. Uh, did you? Yeah. Problems. Yeah. yeah. I, and... and um, that's it. People will look at it and go, oh, I do that. And if you can do, I, oh, I do that, then I think you really have something. Yeah. I think it's wonderfully directed. I think the acting is really, really top notch. I think the chemistry between Meg and I is, is great. And I love working with her. And, I, and I'm really uh, f just pleased that we were able to find each other, yeah. you know, and the casting feels great. And it was just a wonderful experience. That's, that's why. Yeah. Difficult dialogue, uh, intelligent dialogue. As an actor, was this role uh, was this a challenge? It was a big challenge, uh, biggest I've ever had, because this guy really is uh, multi-layered, and 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 each moment had to be precise and f and full, you know. And I've never had to play a character who was so many things all in one split second. And he's real funny. He's he's dangerous. He's um, Full of himself, he's romantic, he's, he's, he's sad, he's just gets to, I get to do like everything. And, and it was difficult to, you know, I call it, this comedy is like lace, fine lace to make this, this kind of work. It's like lace work and it's real tiny, intricate, and Rob is great at details and, I mean, he'll watch each take and, and just want to try, let me just try here now, let me try this. And he's like this big chef, you know. And yeah, he gets into it. And you left out one ingredient of here. He was physical. Uh, did you take any fast walking lessons? <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he's real animated. You know, yeah. he's he's a coiled spring all the time. He's ready to do anything. Oh, even Oklahoma. Yeah. In a public I, store. I get yeah. to sing. You get to sing. <laughs> he's a, at that point. You know, that's a real interesting scene. It's in a sharper image, which you know, one of these um, adult toy stores, and yeah. it's, it's a scene that I had had the idea for that I felt he should meet his ex-wife, 
and confront her, you know, and see, the, see her with the other guy because he needed to really see it so he could move on in his life. And, and he needed to blow some steam out. And he needed to be able to say he's sorry to somebody, which he yeah. hadn't done at that yeah. point. So we put that in, and, and it just worked well. And we just wanted to have some fun. I mean, you know, that's why I would come up with these ideas, and Nora would look at me and then write it, and then, and then, and then Rob would filter out what he didn't want and end up with what he wanted. And so it was great. Just great. Speaking of moving along in your life, you've come a long way from soap. Is Billy Crystal pretty satisfied with your career at this stage? Oh, yeah. Uh, this movie in particular was real important uh, to me, to, uh, f for my own head. I mean, it, it's just a really great feeling to be a part of something and, and to hear this wonderful feedback from you and all the other journalists were talking to it. You go, yeah, you know, I got that right. one. You know, <laughs> it makes me feel really good, yeah. As busy as you are, will you still have time for benefits for the homeless? Oh, we'll do Comic Relief, uh, Comic Relief. Uh, 3 in May, and I've been doing some other things. And and um, now I'm on my way to Russia, uh, to Moscow, to do an HBO special. It'll be the first time someone's tried to, to do funny stuff uh, over there that didn't involve spying. <laughs> I wonder if they'll relate to your humor. Well, uh, I hope so. Because <laughs> we're taking 60 people over, to, to, I better be funny. What do you do when you're not working? I would love to play baseball and still, and uh, Rob She's and I had a, a team, and I'm a, a pretty good basketball player. But lately, I've been, I've been drawing and painting, and my wife and I have a hobby of, uh, it's going to sound weird, but we, I don't know if it sounds weird, we, we, uh, we are rose gardens, and we've gotten into... Uh, we have like 40 different varieties of uh, roses that we, uh, we we grow and cultivate. It's, it's fun. <laughs> That's great. Billy, it's good to see you. Again. I see you. I don't think you'll ever teach school. You never know. <laughs> Thank you. See you.